In this video, I'm going to show you the final uh, step to using uh, Google Forms to create a quiz. And what I'm going to do is first grab this link. I would like to collect all students' email addresses. I'm going to shorten the URL and copy that. I, yep, got it copied. And then I'm going to head to uh, Google Classroom because that's where I will have students access the actual uh, form quiz. In my creative room, the example room. Um, and uh, you're familiar with Google Classroom most likely, you hit this plus, and you, I use the announcement so students don't get confused about an actual item being turned in. Student quiz, and then I just paste the link. There we are. I could add multiple periods, but I post. Now students just log in and click that link uh, to work on the quiz. I'm going to pull up a student view here in just a second. There we are for the student view. Here's my classroom. And they go ahead and click on the quiz. And now they're just going to work their way through it. I've already done that several times, and you've already seen the quiz. I want to show you how we add Fluberoo and Grade. We need a spreadsheet to do this. So in the new forms, you click on Responses, and then you click on the spreadsheet icon. Create a new spreadsheet. Oh yeah, I'm going to take the word untitled out. And here is our spreadsheet for our fancy for our fancy res uh, responses. We need to add the application Fluberoo. So I hit add-ons and I click get add-ons. Fluberoo pops right up, but I could use uh, that search, I shouldn't point, that search button as well. I'm going to say yes, it needs to have access to our account, and that's fine because it is saving us a ton of work. There are my answer, answers already. Now we need to create an answer key. So I myself am about to take the quiz once again. I'm going to hit preview, boom, and I'm going to go ahead and work my way through it for an answer key. I always name something very easy for me to find. And the nice thing about this, uh, that name too, whether I sort by first or last name, it will go ahead and be at the top. And there's my answer key option. I click add-ons, go to Fluberoo, and say grade assignment. First up, you need to identify what are actual questions and what are just material identifying the students. Fluberoo is actually usually pretty good at this. And there are my questions. I'm going to have that one be worth three points and the pizza question be worth six. And now I need to select the answer key, which I should have. I had it at the bottom of the list. There we are. Now it's just going to process through and compare student answers to yours. Woohoo! Alrighty, and there they are. If I had usernames, I could click on the add-on and select to email it to all students. Um, I sometimes copy just the student information into a new spreadsheet and sort by name I, as well. And we are all set. Go uh, make your life easier and make a form quiz, post it in Classroom.